Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world. This is God's message today for you uh, about a dream I had two nights ago, which I believe is prophetic again. And I want to dive into that straight away. It's a very short dream. Um, I, I tell you only the relevant part because there are other things that I think if I mention them, uh, it can be confusing and it needs a lot of explanation. Uh, I'll leave that for the time being uh, when and if suitable or appropriate at the right time, I'll tell you about that. At the moment, I'll tell you what's appropriate and suitable for this moment, for this time. Two nights ago, I had a dream that uh, I was in a school and I could see some students and some uh, teachers, but well, particularly one teacher, a female teacher, and, I, and there was a radio and I heard on the radio that this person uh, was executed. When I heard that, as I was thinking about what that meant, this woman who was a teacher there said, said the same words that I was thinking. And she said, this only means one thing. And that is that it's now all in the open. Now that was the dream or part of the dream that I could share with you at the moment. There is more to it, but like I said, um, to be frank, majority of people will not understand if I say the rest of it. So I, I will just abstain from saying the rest, at least for the time being, uh, when I feel uh, that is suitable or right, and then I'll tell you about the rest of that. And this video will be reference. Um, I don't want to blow into my own trumpet because it's nothing to do with me. It's all uh, from the Spirit and whatever is revealed to me through the Spirit by dreams or visions I try to share. Uh, I know uh, and I've said this before that my videos have been restricted uh, almost every time uh, when I say anything remotely you know uh, not suitable to the ears of the powers but I still uh, feel obliged that I have to do that I have to say that if it, even if that means our second channel which is this one gets struck down as well now uh, as far as the interpretation, the interpretation was inside the dream, as I explained. Uh, all that means is now it's in the open. And you know, uh, as far as my dreams and words are concerned, everything I've said so far, they have come to pass or they're in the mix. They're in the making and, and, and will come out. Uh, one thing I have to say that don't expect um, whether this side or that side wins in the end because there is a battle in the in the heavenlies in the heavenly realms and also there is a battle up uh, behind the scenes in between the powers and, and I said this in my last video that um, the, the previous prophecies that I've made, particularly about uh, this woman, uh, came to pass, uh, and I had said this long before it was all in the open. Uh, it was all referenced, and it's all you can go back to my past videos and see that. It was not just in one video, I mentioned her in a couple of videos at least, I can remember, maybe more. and. 
uh, in my last video I said all that means now that is basically announced all that means is that there is a big shift of powers happening behind the scenes uh, and now they have basically come to terms with whatever it is and whoever it is and now that they have to uh, announce it this way um, that doesn't make you or me happier or sadder uh, because uh, one thing you have to understand is that whether they're right or left if, if we just name it you know hypothetically that way if we call it right or wrong even uh, or bad and good uh, battle if the good wins that we consider good even that is not going to come out and tell you hey people you know you've been fooled for a couple of years uh, we've framed you for a few years and and the truth is we've lied to you or so and so or this, this media and that media like you and, and now the truth is this they will never do that even if the other side that is opposing the bad side wins they won't they won't do that I, I promise you they will never do that the reason the reason is simple because if they do that they'll have to use the same media they'll have to use the same people and um, even if they create their own and start afresh people simply will not trust them anymore so because of that even if it's just because of that they'll never tell you that but there is more to that because the right or let's say good people have uh, also they're not pure good there is no good you know Jesus said there is no good only God God is good the rest they're not good everybody everyone has fallen short of the glory of God and we have all sin sinned and and so there is no good uh, you can say in comparison in comparison to somebody or someone else yes uh, you can say in comparison this side is better than that side so this side will have hold on the other side and that side will have hold on this side so there, there's always um, some dirt and that's behind this side and there's always some dirt that's behind this side and both sides know about each other's dirt so if if I know about your dirt and you know about my dirt I'm not gonna tell the world about your dirt and you're not gonna tell the world about my dirt so because of that we even if I am in power I'm not gonna say anything about your lies I might say some some of a uh, little like irrelevant things but not all of it and you will do the same if you're in power so so get this right because I, I know lots of people are still hoping that they'll come out and say hey everybody uh, you've been framed for a few years now the truth is this da, 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 da. no that's not gonna happen but what is going to happen is that you will see a shift of powers and the laws changing suddenly the tone of language changes the tone of the news the, the, the things are going to change and, and you see that uh, I made a video called calm before the storm and that storm is coming now I said it will come then now I say it is coming now and, and the storm you will see in the form of um, big people suddenly dropping dead and you know taking down as I said before in one of my prophecies I, in a video that I made in a cemetery and, and I said about um, things that just recently took place and also uh, said about the things that will happen and, and, and one of the things I said was that you'll see people being taken down from their positions and mm, taken away 
you might not actually see them being taken away in, in that sense but you'll see that they're not in that position anymore and they'll come up with different reasons and uh, some will just announce that they had um, the prominent sickness in the world and and they died of that and some will say that uh, they just resigned some for various reasons they were taken away or down and out of sight basically um, so these should be signs for you to know that what I say is true and that the shift in the powers is actually taking place that should be the signs not you know actually coming out and telling you that hey uh, so and so lied to you I am the truth teller no that's not going to happen um, and what you've heard so far is a lie and now we're going to tell you the truth that's not going to happen either but you will see the signs the signs of shifting powers the signs of people taking other people's places and the laws uh, rules changing and mm, so that should give you the indication that this prophecy is happening I've had in mind to make a video uh, which is going to be almost a documentary um, almost a documentary because I, I, I haven't got that much facility and I haven't got a lot of resources and a lot of help uh, it's just basically me and, and, and me <laughs> and my wife is helping me and um, so this video that I'm going to make is going to show you what why we are where we are in the world as far as the crisis that we are seeing in the world the wars the chaotic world that we have today uh, it, it's all because of um, of course you can say a lot of things it's a series of things but one important thing happened one thing that changed the, the face of the world really and, and the uh, politics of the world uh, for, for the worst not for the better and and I will show you and I will tell you explain to you how and why those things have happened why we have these so many uh, wars and civil wars and uh, unrest in the world and there is not much peace in the world all that although all prophesied but there is an actual physical reason for that um, and I said partly um, it is down to the Christians not actually acting uh, or practicing their faith properly but this is not what I'm going to talk about this is this is this is a big reason this is a very important reason behind what's happening but that is mainly uh, to do with the Christian the body of Christ and what's happening in the body of Christ and why we're so much restricted and limited all that and all the, the rest of it but what, what I'm going to talk about in this one particular video is basically uh, why the world uh, now we see is in such a chaos at the moment and, and uh, would that be any different had one thing changed one policy of these big powers had changed if if that had changed all these things would have been a the whole world the whole world would have been a different place a better place today and and i'll show you all those things and i'll tell you all that uh, you'll understand that but uh, the reason I say that here is because I have had that in mind to do it but things are getting in the way and uh, new uh, 
dreams and visions are coming that I'm taking the priority and, and, and I think, well, I have to say this, like the last video, I had to say that because that was just urgent, even though it wasn't my normal day of launching the video, I had to do that because, because I knew it, it would be late. And, uh, and, and there are other personal things in my own life uh, that, uh, again, taking priority. Um, I mentioned this in passing in my last video. I lost my father on the 31st of September last year, 2021. And uh, I'm still struggling with that. I'm, I'm still grieving and, and grieving is only uh, a small part of the, the pain. The pain, the main pain is uh, why God didn't listen to me. God didn't answer my prayers. Uh, and, and that is a, a big thing for me. So I would ask you, uh, every session I pray for you, I would like you to pray for me, if you will. And uh, and my whole uh, family and since then I've been trying to make a video as a tribute to my father and because I'm even struggling to come into terms with it and I'm still trying to digest that and, and because of that um, I have been unable to make that video and there is so much to say about my father and my father um, of course every father means a lot to his children but um, I'm not the kind of person to exaggerate things and I'm not the kind of person to say good things or about a person once they passed away. Uh, I say the same things as I said to him face to face. And I have not seen anybody uh, the same as my father. Uh, such, um, such a state, such a state of mind, such um, there, there's a lot to say. You see, I, I, I can't even explain because because of that, I haven't made a video as a tribute to my father's um, passing away. And so please uh, pray for me and my family, and my mother and my siblings, and, and just stay with us and bear with us as we'll bring to you and those videos that I said uh, I am in the process of making them at least uh, I'm, I'm thinking about how to put them together and how to put my words together so now uh, you know that also this person is gone now they might have a double for him, the same as they have for a lot of people that, that, that are not there anymore. And, uh, you know, but what that means, like I said, is that it's now going to come into the open. Uh, and the way they come into the open is not that they come and say, hey, we uh, fooled you and you've been fooled you've been lied to, now this is the truth. That, that's not going to happen, but we, what you will see is the shift. If you see a shift, a change of tone of language, tone of um, the news, everything, you know, almost everything, uh, in every area, you're going to see some changes. I won't say all for good because like I said there is no good but uh, might be majority for the better.
at least to say to say the least. Okay, uh, I think I should now close this video. I didn't want to make a big video out of uh, today's message, and so uh, we close it with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, be with all my audience, wherever they may be, from east to west, from north to south, wherever they may be geographically, be with them, meet their needs, and wash us all with the blood of Jesus Christ. We have come to you in faith and hope of salvation we've come to you to throw ourselves on the mercy seat of yours and ask for forgiveness forgive us forgive our sins and the sins of our fathers and forefathers and wash us with the blood of jesus christ cleanse us set us apart to be holy sanctify us set a hedge of protection over us and ours and protect us from anything any diabolical things that may come from satan and all his dominion meet our needs and uh, give us the desires of our hearts that you put in our hearts in jesus name give us the spirit of discernment and let us discern everything that is from you and everything that is not from you everything that is of the devil and so we uh, can reject and not allow in our minds or our hearts prepare the path for us to move from here from where we are whether physically or spiritually to where you want us to be prepare the path for us prepare our hearts and minds and equip us to do your will in Jesus name amen and amen before I close this session I would like to read this short passage of scripture from 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verses 21 to 24 for since death came through a man the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man for as in Adam all die so in Christ all will be made alive, but each in his own turn. Remember, each in his own turn. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to him. Then the end will come, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominions, authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. May God's people say Amen. Till next time and another video. God bless you. And goodbye.